Date Tsunemoto and Matsudera in Inari. Versus the Chevrolet logo. Chevy. Like a rock. More like a fort. Like a rock. Getting destroyed by samurai. Like a rock. Shooting from the forests. So my suggestion would be to hang back until I get my army onto the field. Right, because your army will be the main assault force. And provided he doesn't make the brash move of attacking you with all he's got before I can make the field, it should be a relatively easily won battle. Relatively easily won battle. Yep, that works. So this will be our first officially combined battle. Okay, I see what side you'll be coming in from. So I will hide my units in the woods just outside, just uh, to um, the northeast of the map. Yep, just bear in mind that um, there's a time limit, you've got 38 seconds remaining before the battle will start because I clicked the gong. There we go. I'm hidden in the forest. Damn, he's got quite the uh, armies. Yeah. It looks like to the southwest he's open so that's where I'm going to bring my attack from I believe okay just checking where his bow units are while I wait for my it looks like most of his in. bow units are against the uh, eastern side so eastern and northeastern walls actually yeah most of them are on to the north although he has two units of Ashi Yuri Ashigaru outside of the castle yeah I can see that They'll be easily whittled down by arrows as they come if they do decide to attack with them. I'm gonna see uh, where my archer range is. Currently, my archer range goes nowhere near his castle, but he doesn't even know where I am. All right. Yeah, most of his archers are blocking uh, the north east, the northwest side. Just slowly arranging my units. Um, if you hadn't noticed um, from previous episodes, I actually upped the battle time limit to avoid what happened to Paul. I think in episode 5 or 6 where he was attacking the Hanma and ran out of time when he should have won. So I've increased it to an hour just to make it a little bit easier for us to win battles. Okay. What that also means is you may actually have to watch us battle for an hour, which could be quite enjoyable if you ask me. He's moving a lot of units around, but he's just basically running in circles up there, doing, like, drill practice. I'm so tempted to march forward with my troops just to, uh, start picking him with arrows, but then he'll move his archers to reinforce. That's correct. Mm, it's the waiting. The long waiting. Uh, I'm going to request that we fast forward after I make this move, because it's going to be quite long-winded. Games on fast forward, and uh, I'm just gonna have my units chill. I wonder if he even knows I'm there yet. 
He probably doesn't. Are you just going to come straight up the hill on the southeast? Or the south? Yeah, the southeast. Um, due south. Due south. Because he does actually have an advantage in that he has more archers. I'm not going to just sit outside and whittle him down. I'm going to use my archers to support from outside the walls and pretty much flood the castle. We'll try to do it simultaneously so that he um, is left a little taken aback. Okay, you just let me know when to hit the charge. Um, actually, I would suggest going into the forest to the southeast because he's less protected by arrows from there. But then he'll see me. I don't think he'll make a sortie against you with an army as large as mine approaching him. Um, really, if I strike, he's only got the one archer unit that can attack because I'll be coming from the gate itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all right then. Okay, I'm actually going to uh get my samurai into position. I want to start the rush, but it's not time yet. Patience, young Padawan, or whatever you want to call it. I'm surprised he hasn't moved any of his archers to compensate for the fact you have a massive army approaching his southern point. Well, nobody said the AI was that smart. Just as a note, in fast forward, we have lost about 10% of our time. Yeah. Looks like he's moving things around to come reinforce where you're attacking. Well, I think on normal difficulty, the it's almost as if the AI is playing with battle realism mode, so they can only see what their units would be able to see. Mm. That, that's my theory, anyways. And they definitely, the higher rank of the general, the better the AI seems to play as well. My armies are almost in position. I see you are taking that forest. And you're going to move yeah, up through the forest? Safe. Yes. I'm not going to be completely hidden by the forest, but... Uh, all right. As we prepare to strike. Strategy sometimes can be a game of patience. I'm going to move my samurai out of the forest and to the due east. They might come under fire, but I'm not going to let go of the move button until you say go. Oh, he's sending units out. They'll get destroyed on their way to me if that's his choice. Which it isn't. Hmm. Alright, we'll move back to normal speed, and we're ready to go. I clicked normal. There we go. Alright, I am moving my samurai to the due east. and repositioning my archers to keep them in archer range. Basically just rotating my archers to follow. Are you charging? I am charging. Okay.
I heard fire arrows. Is that you? Yes. Okay. My arch archers are almost within fortress range. Almost in range. My samurai have fallen under missile attack. That was to be expected. My archers are going to be in range in about 10 seconds. Fire arrows, go! Those archers are getting rather hurt, and they're running away from the wall, which just took away their defense against my archers. Meanwhile, I've got my samurai climbing the walls. not looking too good for my side of things. Many of my units are being overwhelmed as they climb over the walls. What about your units that are staying down? Well, those are just my archers supporting the remainder of the troops. Well, currently my samurai are making it up fairly uncontested. except the archers are all focusing on my samurai. Not. He's just there to rally. Oh, 
We have essentially lost all our infantry units, so it's going to be up to you what little you have to take out the rest of his. I don't think we'll be killing him this round then. How are your arrow supplies doing? Pretty good. I should be able to whittle them down from the outside as you fight on the inside. I do have two units still remaining in his castle. My guys are getting exhausted. Go Samurai! You can do it! Well, his units have all been damaged, and they're taking fire from behind, so that should be definitely helpful towards it. <laughs> from behind. Here comes my, my Lord, reinforcements. Our ally has fled, abandoning us to the enemy! You fled? Run in, my general, and take out their archers. As I said, I don't think this will be a glorious victory, but we've it may definitely be a one. dealt a heavy blow to them. Definitely. You don't happen to have fire arrows ready, do you? Ten seconds. Our men are running from the battlefield! Shame for this play! Inspire the unit! Looks like you're winning a battle on, in the castle there. Many of his units are flashing, but one of yours is as well. I've already lost two of... I only had the four melee units. I've lost one of them, and the second one's about to bugger out. And I don't have Rally ready for another 32 seconds, unfortunately. I also don't have fire arrows for another 54. But, we have definitely dealt quite the heavy blow. You're coming in to reinforce with your general? Yep. Since you notice this gate is open. Fire from above. A 
Oh, the gates got relocked. Oh, that's no good. What was that? That's no good, I said. Oh, I thought you were saying that voice, whatever it said, was no good. Because I don't know what he just said. Rally! As he dies. Damn it. My general just fled. Sending in my bow samurai in a last diff ditch effort. I'm targeting that large group of archers with fire arrows. The gates reopened. Never mind. It's reclosed. It looks like that one unit of samurai is actually winning. They're winning decisively. Hmm? Looks like they're walking away. No, I told them to open the gate. Ah. They just buggered out. But they opened the gate for you. Yep. They had a lot of units, but... Kill that one Yari Ashigaru. How hard can it be to kill one little spear farmer? Die, spear <laughs> farmer, die. Your katana samurai are actually do, or your yeah, your bow samurai are actually uh, pushing that wall pretty well. Well, samurai versus Ashigaru. Why won't he die? Got him! Finally, got both of them. That one unit of bow Ashigaru are. Uh, Yes. But yeah, that one unit of uh, bowmen that was attacking your guys is now getting ripped apart by me. Maybe I should attack the ones that aren't being rained upon by arrows. Especially since we weren't learned arrows have friendly fire. I'll redirect my arrows. Okay. Although it'll take a second for them to... All Stop land. landing on my guys. Yeah, I got them this time. Oh, I lost one of my units. Oh, 
Now that it's your bows versus his bows, I can use my general to reinforce my armies at the south. I think we're just barely going to win this one, my friend. This has been one tight battle. My general ran away. Damn. That rat bastard. So did mine. Actually, I think mine died. Why would he run away? He was fighting against Bo Ashigaru. It's not fair, I say. Oh well. I'm pretty sure he's either... If you have enough ammunition, you might be able to take out most of his troops with your bows. Mm -hmm. And then just walk in and take the castle. Oh, does that mean that the rest of your units are gone too? Uh, yeah, the rest of them ran away after the general decided to quit the battle. However, I have about 41 Bo Ashigaru left, but they're wavering. And you have quite a few... Yeah, I've got about 150 left, but they're starting to waver. He's only got 28 left in that one unit that's attacking you. Maybe move the wavering unit out of out of range so that they can regain their confidence. Good call. He's down to 23 in that unit. If you have fire, I would definitely suggest using it. Not for another 57 seconds. Down to 19. Down to 15. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. What's that one blue unit that's still out there? There, my troops are trapped in the castle and being shot at by his um, archers. Well, oh, the one that's not white yet. Oh, that's those archers that I said that were wavering. Mm. Alright, that unit is done. March into the castle and take them out. I'll keep supporting with my bows for as long as they don't run away. I will take the guys with the least ammo and have them climb the walls. Wait, never mind. The gate's open. Which makes me wonder why my general is still running around in circles in the corner. March in, boys. This is what I would call a baggy victory. Baggy? Baggy. I think it's a skating term for you just barely did it. Looks like he's run out of arrows. It's bow versus bow.
<laughs> I just like watching the fire arrows hitting them and them burning and falling to the ground. And the thing I did there that was smart, I only had one of my three units use fire. Watching the numbers of his troops slowly wind down. He's got 12 left, 11, 10, 9. Plus he do have, does have those two other ones. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Get those two lone archers and we'll be done with it. Is he charging me with them, or is he just standing there? He's... oh, they're dead. <laughs> Beggy victory! Or costly victory, as it says. Costly, yeah. That was quite the costly victory, but my god, we took out an overwhelming number of units. Yeah. Wasn't quite good enough to be heroic, but it was definitely costly. There's actually an achievement in this game that you can get for having a certain number of heroic victories, which is basically you're outnumbered more than two to one and still win. <laughs> I think I've done it once. Uh, if you want to talk through the AI's turns, I will be right back. Yep, and that will be then the end of, of the episode. Ah, uh, my general's alive! And so is yours! Actually, all my units are still alive. Take the castle. You earned it. Oh, it's waiting for Dave to click OK. Which, since he said he'll be right back, he's not clicking OK right now. There we go. I will peacefully occupy it. Oh. Okay. It was a Fyrick victory on the actual screen. And do you notice something, Dave? What? I didn't lose any of my actual units. I lost all of my infantry were destroyed. My general survived, luckily. I noticed your both our generals survived, which was awesome. Yes. All right. Uh that was insane. Insane. <laughs> Just wow. Well, it was definitely worth the excitement of that battle. Oh, that was probably one of the more intense battles we've had yet. Definitely. At any rate, thanks for tuning in. Can you save on my turn? Yes. Okay. No, I can't. Okay, then we'll quickly let the uh, NPCs do their thing. Shimazu running around. The Takeda have decided to abandon their own province and attack me again. Will they succeed? We'll nope. definitely find out in the next episode. <laughs> However, I may have a yet another rebel army to uh, take care of in the next episode. Definitely want to take care, take a look at that. 
I think, um, you know, outnumbering ourselves a little bit but making the battles winnable would actually make for a much more enjoyable sort of uh, game. The Hatake Amara just attacking my boat, so I'm quickly uh, auto-resolving that one. It looks like you he took some of their boats. I took all four of their boats. That was a mistake on their part. And I'm just gonna save. Perfect. Well, as Dave saves the game, I want to thank you all for uh, tuning in to another episode of Late Night Games. Sorry this one went a little bit long, but that battle was insane. Um, tune in next time as I try and decide where I'm gonna go from here, as the only people next to me now are Dave and Ikoiki, which I don't think we're quite ready to face yet. And Dave finishes off the Takeda, who have invaded his territory once again. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook or Twitter to keep up to date with all things that are late night games. Of course, you can subscribe to the channel too to receive updates on when we release videos. Like this video if you like what you see. Leave any comments below if you want to leave us a note and talk to us. Join in the conversations. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Goodbye. Have a good night.